Hey YouTube, Scottish Claymore here, and today I'm bringing you a box opening, well actually two box openings, of the uh, the new Number Hunter series. And uh, there's some interesting cards in here, I think most people are looking for Box of Friends and Number 74. Um, so we'll uh, we'll see what we get out of these boxes, and uh, you know, I like to collect numbers, so I'm hoping I get at least one of every kind, every number that's in the set, uh, as well as, you know, some of the, the better ones. So let's start opening off here. And what's interesting is uh, they actually decided to release some support for some existing archetype, like for Chronomalies, which was an archetype that actually only was in one set. It was only in Return of the Duelist. So I'm, I'm glad that they're doing that because they, they kind of just left it fluttering in the breeze for a while there. Wow, I can't get this open in the front here. There we go. And, um, yeah, so the, I'm really glad that they're doing that, and as well, uh, that they're releasing the gimmick puppets, you know, some stuff from the show, and there's some interesting sort of reprints as well from, like, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! times, cards that were Japanese only that never, uh, made it over here, like Battle Warrior, one of the cards that Joey used. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's get started here, let's see what we pull. 24 packs per box, 5 cards per pack. For those of you that don't know, this pack is essentially like um, the original Hidden Arsenal. Uh, it's Hidden Arsenal 7 was the last Hidden Arsenal. So this pack is actually, these packs are, I think, going to replace them. So hopefully we see more Number Hunters sets in the future to replace them and get some interesting reprints and like more support for existing archetypes that come out. Anyway, uh, so another, another archetype here, we have Butter Spy Protection. This card as well. So that's another archetype, the Butter Spies, that are getting support in this. Chronomaly Aztec Mask Golem. Uh, an unformed void. <laughs> Photon Cerberus, this is a reprint as a super rare, which is kind of cool. And uh, number 44, Sky Pegasus, awesome. I think this card is pretty good too. Uh, it's secret rare. And it looks like they're putting the secret rares at the back this time. Which is interesting. Instead of, it used to be like at the front. Uh, when you open the pack, sort of from the front here, if you if you look, that's the super rare right there. Here's another reprint card, right off the top. Rocket Arrow Express. This was also rare. This card doesn't get a lot of play. I, I don't think that the deck build is really that great for it, but it's interesting. <laughs> uh, Chronomaly, uh, sorry, Gimmick Puppet Gear Changer. It's one of the gimmick puppets now. Uh, Baby Dragon, super rare. Got a reprint. <laughs> uh, Chronomaly Mud Golem. And CXYZ Sky Plane, sorry, Sky Palace Babylon. Interesting. I'm still, I mean, the CXYZs, they're interesting, but uh, I don't see them getting a lot of a lot of play. They're just, they're too much of a pain to get out. But maybe in the future, if they get more support. Uh, Mech Equipped Engineer. Curry Volt, super rare, another reprint. Heroic Challenger Clasp Sword. That's another set that's getting a, a little bit of support in this. Uh, the Heroic Challengers. Uh, Overlay Capture. And a Heroic Challenger Ambush Soldier. Awesome. That's the other one. Those are the only two Heroic Challengers, I believe, that are getting support. I think there's quite a few gimmick puppets and quite a, and I think three or four Chronomaly monsters as well. There's a lot of XZs in this set, especially, as well. It was kind of interesting. Uh, Battlecruiser Dianthus. Uh, Photon Cerberus, uh, Charka, or sorry, Chakra. This is a, a Japanese-only card that uh, that was reprinted for the set, so it's older. Uh, you can only summon the, you can only ritual summon this card with the uh, Resurrection of Chakra. So I don't even know if this was in the show, but I know that it was only a Japanese card, a Japanese-only card. So that's kind of interesting. Gash the Dust Lord, and number forty-nine, Fortune Tune. Awesome number card. <laughs> A number card. I don't think it's really that great of a number card, but it's a number card. Next up, we have uh, Go 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 Golem. Reprint as a super rare. Puppet Ritual. That's one of the uh, support cards for the gimmick puppets. Battle Warrior. Awesome. Uh, again, another one of those cards we never got over here in the TCG. Uh, gimmick Puppet Scissors Arms. And Photon Alexandra Queen. This is actually an interesting archetype, this Butterfly archetype. Kind of be interested to see if it uh, goes anywhere. It's Photon Papal Operative, and there's a couple other ones that are already out from uh, Galactic Overlord. So that'd be interesting. Uh, here's another Chronomaly, Chronomaly uh, Cabrera Trebuchet. 
Uh, number 63, Shamui Soldier. Awesome. Hoping to get one of him. Uh, Heraldry Record. Uh, so actually some Heraldic Beast um, support as well, which is kind of nice. Phenomenally Soul Monolith. And Cosmic Hero King Arthur. Awesome. I believe that has, that's one of the ones that has the CXYZ variant. We go a little bit faster here because we're going to, once we start uh, getting through this side, we'll sort of stop naming the super rares as much. Overlay capture again. Underworld, uh, sorry, Uninformed Void. Sorry, Unformed Void, wow. Uh, Gaga -ga Gardna, super rare, got reprinted. And Kage to Kage, super rare, also another reprint. Jeez, and there, Konami seems to be on a reprint um, spree these days with a lot of their like sort of staple Yuma cards and stuff. And we also have uh, CXYZ, CXYZ Battleship Cherry Blossom. That's kind of cool. I also like what they did with this, is they have a lot of XZs for different ranks. Like, it seems like there's a lot of different ranked XYZs, so it's kind of uh, nice that way. Uh, Mech Equip Engineer, Photon Lizard, number 63, Shimui Soldier, uh, Gash the Dust Lord again, and another number 44, Sky Pegasus. Awesome. Secret Rare. It'll be interesting to see if that gets any play. It's sort of like Black Ship of Corn and Gagaga Magician, uh, sorry, Gagaga Cowboy, but uh, basically it's like detach one one material and uh, uh, choose the opponent's monster, face up monster to destroy. No no uh, upper limit to the attack, but your opponent can negate the effect by paying a thousand life points. So. Who knows? I think it, it's situational. I don't know if it'll get a whole heck of a lot of play, but it might be an interesting sort of, um, I guess an interesting sort of rank four beast type monster. We haven't had a lot of beast types, I don't think. Uh, Chronomaly Soul Monolith again for the next one. Sorry, I opened this off screen. Uh, here's the ritual card, Resurrection of Chakra, that goes with Chakra. <laughs> Zubaba Knight, another reprint, super rare. Chronomaly Mud Golem, and Cosmic Hero King Arthur again, secret rare. Attack. I'm going to start moving a bit faster, as I said. I think I'm just going to start saying the, uh, the ones that we haven't seen yet. Like this one. Number 87, Queen of the Night. Super rare. I haven't really read too much about her, but uh, getting three rank 8s out is pretty tough. I think this is probably a lot for, like, photons. But yeah, she's interesting. She looks pretty hot. <laughs> uh, Photon Cerberus. Stoic uh, Challenge, that's a new one. I'm not sure what that's for. But yeah, Stoic Challenge. <laughs> Could have read some of these cards. Curry Volt and Princess Cologne. Awesome. Princess Cologne is actually a pretty good card. I haven't. Uh, it has. It works with Box of Friends, which is a which I mentioned is a card that a lot of people are looking for. So uh, we'll see if that gets any play. I think it might get like Ojamas, and I think Dustin's once Dustin's come out, we'll use it a lot too. Uh, Battle Cruiser Dianthesis. Oh, here's a new one. Uh, Blue Mountain Butter Spy. It's one of the new Butter Spy cards. And a number 85 Crazy Box. Awesome, that's a new one as well. Again, have to read these. I think this one is like you roll a dice or something like that. I have to, I'd have to look. Um, yep, uh, Gimmick Puppet Gear Changer, we saw that. And uh, Sky Plane, sorry, Sky Palace Gar uh, <laughs> Sky Palace Gangardia. Gangardia. Sorry, that's really hard for me to read upside down, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it's a uh, level... 10. Wow. But, that's a new one. New secret rare. I'm hoping to get at least one of every uh, every card here. Um, Chakra again. Resurrection of Chakra. Let's keep going through these. Seen them, seen them. And CXYZ Cosmic Hero Legend Arthur. So that's the uh, King Arthur's CXYZ form. Requires three level five monsters or the rank up magic card. Next side here. Alright, move a little bit faster. Again, I'm going to start only saying ones we, supers we haven't seen yet. We like this one, Gimmick Puppet Twilight Joker. Go 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 Giant, uh, as well, has been reprinted, just like Go Go uh, Golem. And, uh, insect Armor with Laser Cannon. This is uh, an insect, an, a very old card that works with insects. It, you equip it and it gains 700 attack. It's uh, a card, one of those cards we never got over here in the TCG, but uh, Japan got it. And it was used by Weevil or something in the in the thing. And another uh, CXYZ Cosmic Hero Legend. Legend Arthur, sorry. <laughs> and, okay, let's see. And we have... I think we've got most of this. Hey, Box of Friends! Awesome! 
This card is, is actually pretty awesome. I'll read the effect. Uh, if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon from your deck two normal monsters with different names whose attack or defense is zero. Uh, in face-up defense position, you can only use the effect of box, per box of friends once per turn. Monsters special summoned by this effect cannot be used for synchro materials and are destroyed on your next end phase. So what's awesome about this card is that it, it can bring back uh, any uh, level normal monster that has zero attack or defense, and it can be any level. So I think this card is probably going to get a lot of play. It's sort of like Rescue Rabbit. Um, not quite as good, because you have to, like, you could probably use it for zombies, because all zombies have zero defense. So uh, that would be something that you could use it for. But uh, I think this card might actually get some play. It's very good, and uh, I'm glad I pulled one. Hopefully maybe we pull some more. Uh, and I, I think we're still missing a, a couple numbers, too. So I think there's nine numbers in total for the whole set. Eight or nine, I think. Another copy. Gimmick Puppet Egghead. It's another. It's a new gimmick puppet. He's interesting. <laughs> uh, this is new. CXYZ Mid-Quipped Jin Archangel. This is actually a new Jin card. And I think it has a, uh, a, a non-CXYZ as well in this set. And nice! Number 15, Gimmick Puppet Giant Grinder. That's one, uh, that's one of the new numbers. Uh, that was in the show. Uh, during the tournament in the show. It's pretty good. I think Gimmick, gimmick Puppets are really good at getting out uh, rank 8 monsters, because that's what they're made for. And here we have another of the Butter Spy, well, sort of Butter Spy, but uh, it's actually generic. It requires 3 level 4 monsters. This is Night Papal Operative. And once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, and this card gains 300 attack for, every, for each material attached to a monster on the field, including itself, and it's permanent. So if you can get this guy out, he's actually a pretty big beat stick, but he requires three level fours. So, uh, but if you can, it's he's. Um, I think he's a nice sort of change from Shockmaster. Shockmaster is really good for control, but if you just want to need a nice big beat stick in your rank four deck, this one's pretty good. It may get a little bit of play. We'll see. Jababa Knight. Uh, okay, we've seen all these. Gimmick Puppet Nightmare. That's a new gimmick puppet. And Princess Cologne again. Okay, next pack. Again, we'll just go through. Heroic Challenger Clasp Sword, I think we've seen him. Oh, Zom Bow Wow. This is another good zombie card. Uh, when this card declares an attack, it gains 500 attack permanently. If this card uh, on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one level one monster with zero attack or defense from your deck. Which is, um, which this works with Box of Friends, because that's zero, zero. Uh, also, it is, and its effect is, it says its effect is negated, but because Box of Friends goes off in the graveyard, it doesn't actually negate Box of Friends' effect, which is awesome. So, uh, yeah, that's a, a really good card, a really good support card for Box of Friends. I'm sure we'll see more, uh, more play from this card as well. Uh, okay, God, 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 oh, and number 74, Master of Blades, awesome. This is uh, one of the XDs that everybody wants, definitely. Two rank seven, so it works with uh, the E Dragons, and uh, it's pretty good. I'll read the effect as well. I'm sorry I'm going so slow to these guys, but uh, numbers, lots of numbers. I like numbers. <laughs> During either player's turn, when when a card or effect is activated that targets this face-up card, you can detach one XYZ material from this card, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card, and then you can destroy one additional card on the field. And it's you can destroy, so it's not uh, required. So if your opponent doesn't have anything else, you can still use the effect without destroying something on your field. This card is awesome. Definitely, definitely, uh, probably the best card in the set, or one of them. And we have something new. No, nothing new yet. And CXYZ Battleship Blossom Cherry. Cherry Blossom. Seen that already. <laughs> A lot of duplicate uh, XZs and secret rares in these boxes in this box so far. And lots of Kages. Oh, and another box of friends. Awesome. Hopefully we get a playset of these. That'd be nice. We have another box to open, so ideally that would be great. Some more Sky Pegasus or sorry, Master of Blades wouldn't be bad either. Zombow again, nice. Battle Warrior. And CXYZ Coach 
Lord Ultra. Oh God, Ultimate Trainer, Ultimate Trainer, XYZ Coach Lord Ultimate Trainer. This has such a weird name. These Coach Lord cards. Yeah, I don't really get where that comes from, but uh, yeah. Oh well. To have the whole set, you know, collect for the collection. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think he'll ever get much play, but, because he requires four, so you have to have the magic rank up, basically, to even make him. And next pack here, we said all those. Gimmick, puppet, scissor, arms, yeah, we have, okay. And number 54, Lionheart, awesome. This card's interesting, too, because it's a, a nice little rank one, with three rank ones. We don't have a lot of these. Uh, I think Slacker Magician is the most played rank one at the moment. Baby Dragon is okay, but I think this card is much better, personally. That's awesome. Glad we pulled that. And I think, and I think, that's all the numbers now. We have one of each, at least. Number Wall. Awesome. I love this card. So this card basically lets your, your numbers become invincible to attacks, except uh, from other numbers. You still take the damage, but it's just like a show where they can't be destroyed except by another number card. Uh, this card is interesting, and I actually kind of want to test it out and see how it goes with decks that run a lot of numbers. Like in Utopia, uh, the Utopia deck, the XYZ deck, it would be actually pretty good if you can't get your... Uh, your... Uh, you know, your uh, equip cards for it. Uh, and we have CXYZ, Simon the Great Moral Leader. So we're getting all the CXYZs. Wow. And last card, last pack in this box, guys. And then we'll on to the next one. And we have... Number 57, Tri-Head Dust Dragon. So I guess this this is now maybe the last one. I don't even know. But awesome. It's a number, it's a rank 4 dragon requiring 3 rank 4s. Uh, I'm not sure what it does. I don't think it's anything overly spectacular. But uh, yeah. So we'll go on to the next pack. The next box, sorry. Let's open her up. Alright, we'll be much faster through this one, guys. Apologize for being so slow through that. I'm, uh, I think I'm just fascinated by, X <laughs> by XZ cards, and there's a lot of them. I think we've gotten most of the set now. I don't know how much we're missing in terms of the complete set of cards for the whole thing. I think there's 60 in total, so we must be pretty close. And I think we've got all the supers for now, for sure. Photon Alexandra Queen. That's a secret rare. Again, just going to go over the secret rare. We've definitely got all the supers now. And another CXYZ Simon the Great Moral Leader. Another number 54, Lionheart, awesome. Come on, Master of Blades. Oh, box of Friends. All these cards are good. <laughs> I have mixed feelings about why they reprinted like Zubaba Knight and things like that in this too. Um, just like I did about the Battle Pack 2. Cosmic Hero King Arthur again. Just because, you know, like, it's like Battle Pack 2 was... There were some great reprints, like Megalo and Card Car, all those reprints are awesome. But then there were just some, like, really crappy reprints. Like, they, they took half the set from the original Battle Pack and printed it again. So what's the point? Don Bow Wow there, nice. Good super. And nice, number 74, Master of Blades. Awesome. So that's two. Yeah, I mean, I, I just like them to, uh, I like them to... To maybe just stop doing that. <laughs> I get that people want to, you know, rank out, trick out their deck, but, yeah, it's, like, it seems like too much. Coach King, uh, Giant Trainer. Actually, we don't have this one yet. That's the, the non-CXYZ version that only requires three level 8 monsters. At least with this one, I'm, like, with, with Number Hunters, I'm really glad that they printed cards that were, like, Japan only, just for, like, collecting purposes. Um, nice, number 57, Tri-Head Dust Dragon. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad they did that, so we're getting some, you know, previously Japanese exclusives, just for, like, collecting purposes at least. And they're gonna be super rare, which is even better.
And CXYZ Battleship Cherry Blossom. Wow, this card loves me. I think I pulled a whole bunch of those. That and the other the other King Arthur one. The King Arthur and the other and the CXYZ version. More butterfly stuff. And CXYZ Cosmic Hero Legend Arthur again. Wow. Actually, I ha I don't think I've pulled the regular Jin monster. If there is one, maybe there isn't. In the non CXYZ version. Is it CXYZ or CXZ? Probably CXZ. And Hero Challenger Ambush Soldier is secret rare. Nice. I think if I were to build this deck, I think he's probably the one that you want to put in. Now. I'd have to read him again. I never really fought, did that deck that much, but uh, usually the super the secret rare ones are the cards that you want the most for your deck. <laughs> and... Sky Palace Guard again. Oh god, I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try. Nope. <laughs> that card. That one. And. Princess Cologne again. That's actually, again, not a bad card because it works with the with, uh, Box of Friends. I haven't pulled Box of Friends in this set yet. Two in the other box. Oh, new. A new one. Uh, Naruto the Moral Leader. The, the non-CXZ version. Nice. I pulled him. Next card. And another... This is the CXYZ version of the Moral Leader again. Wow. Princess Cologne. Wow, she's pretty easy to pull. I think that's like four or five now I have of her. Maybe they don't expect her to be used that much. Photon Alexandra Queen. I like how they put the, uh, the secret rare at the back now. Instead of the front, so you, it builds up a bit of suspense as you go through the supers. And then Cherry Blossom, again, another card I have about 15 of from these boxes. We got seven more, including the one in my hand now, seven more packs. And... CXYZ Skyplane and Babylon. It's only the second of those I pulled. Sky Palace, sorry. I don't know why I keep saying Skyplane. It's difficult reading these cards upside down, guys. <laughs> Another one, the same card. Whoops. Almost threw my cards everywhere. Fifth pack, left. Box of Friends! Awesome! So I got my playset. Sweet! I really, really kind of want to build a deck around this just to see, you know, sort of what I can do with it. I really like that card, I, and I think uh, I'm going to build a deck around it at some point. Just to, to play around and see if it's good. I've maybe even put it with, uh, like, almost a vanilla deck with Rescue Rabbits and stuff. I don't know. Number 74, Master of Blades. Awesome. So we got two in this box. Sweet. All the good cards are at the back here, man. I still think we're missing the Jin card. I think that's the regular one, the non-CXE one. I think that may be the only card left. Another 57 du try dust dragon thing. Two more packs, guys. And uh, yeah, I, I I'm think I'm thinking that's the only one that I have left. Number wall, awesome. Kind of was hoping for a play set of those, but uh, having two is pretty good. I don't know, maybe maybe play set of those is not that great, but uh, it will be an interesting tech to try out. And decks, you know, use a lot of number monsters. Maybe in like Watts, you have like. Because you bring out black ship a lot in Watts, and you can bring out like you can bring out Utopia or something and just leave him on the field, just to give you some protection. It'd be interesting. Bow wow, and last one, Cosmic Hero King Arthur again. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I think we did pretty well. We got four Master of Blades. Uh, let's see here. Well, we got uh, Sky Pegasus. I think we got two of him. We didn't pull any of him in the second box. Let's see. Let's just sort of go through real quick. Do a quick recap. Uh, once I we got well, Princess Cologne, she's pretty good too. 
I'm not gonna do the super rares because we got we definitely got a whole bunch of those. <laughs> and uh, I, we we got at, well, at least one of every number. Know that for sure. Box of friends. The princess cologne. Master of blades. Other one. Rubble wall, pretty good. 54. This guy. I don't know if he's any good. I'll just throw him out there for now. <laughs> he may not be very good. Um, but yeah, so two boxes, and we got a pretty good haul on these things. I think I got four or three. I think maybe I only got three number. Uh, yeah, I only got three number 74s here. But that's a full playset. And uh, box of friends again. So let's just uh, put them in. Yeah, so overall, pretty damn good, number one. And, uh, yeah, so let's see, we're almost done. Just gonna go through real quick here. Seems like, uh, of the cards that seem that most people want, or that are most sought after, the Princess is the easiest one to pull. Also, 49 is, I only pulled 149 from the 49. Oh, I'll have to get my hands on that other gen card. I'm pretty sure it exists if it's uh, if it's got a CXE version. It must have a, a non-CXE version. So three box of friends, three master of blades, two number walls, two number 54s, two sky pegasus, I think four princess colognes, and uh, three trihead dragons. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Uh, sorry if this video was kind of long. Uh, I've actually was looking forward to this set for a while, and uh, I'm glad that I finally got my hands on it. Um, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.